Okay, y'all. I am so sorry. I'm getting so many damn calls today. It's working on my nerve. Okay. So today we're. Oh yeah. Um, this is a part of. This is just continuation of six common traits of narcissists and gaslighters. I just said it's covert narcissists. Gaslighting is more of a technique than just a type of personality. So we left off at number five. Yeah, we did number four, rule breaking and boundary violations. That's when they uh, come into your space, your comfort zone, take over. Uh, let me see. Take over and um, just try to do things to undermine you and make you confused and, and feel inferior. Okay, uh, number five is emotional invalidation. That's kind of the same thing. Uh, this is where emotional suffering is uh, is the most damaged painfully felt, you know, rather than uh, a lot of people fit or uh, uh, abused emotionally and physically. They, 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 uh, they, uh, the physical emotion they can get through, but this emotional, um, constant emotional, uh, um, emotional, I'm trying to think of what suffering <laughs> is, um, is what gets a person and, and, you know, it works with their mind. They can concentrate. And, uh, so, uh, anyway, these are uh, narcissists, uh, like spreading and arousing negative emotions in order to feel powerful and keep you insecure and off balance. Uh, they often blame their victims for having uh, caused their own victimization. You wouldn't get yelled at if you weren't so stupid. Okay. And this lady was real good at this. She needs to go to Hollywood. Uh, cause I get panic attacks, and when you start in on me, I get a panic attack. And the last one is uh, manipulation, the use of control of others as an extension of oneself. Which I get this. Okay, they have a tendency to make decisions for others to fit their own agenda. Uh. They are also fond of using guilt, blame, and victimhood as manipulative devices. Uh, they conduct uh, psychological manipulation towards victims and groups through persistent distortion of the truth with the intention of causing their victims to question themselves and feel less confident. You, you know, like you feel... I don't understand, you know, what am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong? It, it, it's that feeling. In personal and professional environments, they manipulate and micromanage others uh, by telling them how they should think, feel, and behave. Um, also, they become... Uh, cruel and intimidating and are hostile toward those who fail to bow down to their directors. I just said that. You don't kiss that ass. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I'm going to put this there for a minute, ladies and gentlemen.
is it? Okay, everyone, we're back. We're going to get the seven stages of covert narcissism. Wonder, uh, number one is false humility. It's a form of pride and uh, where narcissists play the victims and put themselves down so that they bait you into com complimenting them. Their goal is to let you know they are important and seek high status positions. I'm sorry. And it's, and, yeah. Their goal is to seek high status, and they do, which they're not qualified for most of the time. Yet they disguise themselves in humility, which isn't anything like an, a humble character or one who puts down. Uh, others for themselves. Their goal is to make sure they are struck, they are stroked for their efforts. Okay, we talked about the lack of empathy. They're selfish. They don't care about other people. They only care about themselves and what they can get out of a situation. And we talked about lack of empathy. They uh they don't care about anybody but themselves. Uh, they don't care how anybody else feels. They just care about how they feel. And then we talk about, or we didn't talk about oversimplification of others' needs. They will minimize the needs of the people around them. They will not explore the details of a particular situation. Because they don't, they don't deem it worthy of their time. They will label people. They will label people and deflect blame onto them uh, instead of taking responsibility for their own for their own actions. I'm trying to keep this up, y'all. They reduce complex issues to simple ones in order to brush them aside as useless. They don't want to be bothered with facts or logic. And that is so true. I tried to use logic on this woman. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically, I'm an empath, but I'm an analytical, uh, I'm a logical analytical person as well as an empath. So, uh, you, these people who have simple, you know, and IQs and stuff. Uh, she loved them to death, and uh, and she builds them up. Uh, so she only want to associate with them. And we talked about inability to listen, right? Okay, that's something else for you. Three reasons you can't win with the narcissist. Three reasons you can't win with the narcissist. A narcissist won't appreciate all you go through to accommodate or satisfy them. That's me. I mean, what I did was never good enough. It had to be questioned by a white person. It was just ignorant. They would never remember all the things you did right. Only what you did. That's wrong. Well, that's this lady here. She don't. If I ain't never done right according to her. I ain't never done right. I, don't, I ain't never done good enough. I never done right. I'm the most. I'm the most educated person in this whole building, and I've never, and the most experienced, and I've never done anything right. And she don't even know the laws. And uh, 
and how to do HR. So, I mean, and, and, and I do. Okay, so if you subjugate your needs long enough, you'll begin to lose sense of self. So you'll lose your mind like she would do me. She would, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. She'll make you lose your mind, feel like you don't out of control, and just get confused. And it be a bunch of busy paperwork. That's basically what it is. Because I don't look at her face, and the best thing to do is uh, withdraw from these people. You know, like I'm, 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 I'm in a place where uh, I have... I have a, a voucher, and I can't just move. If I could, I would. But I'm going to do something. Uh, I'm finding back, okay? Uh, fight back these people. Don't let them ruin you. Don't let them do what they did to me, what she did to me. Nag me, nitpick. Devalue everything I do. Never do uh, anything right. Always wrong. And nip and just uh, just a, a bitch on wheels. Okay, but you gotta be careful in fighting these people. You know, I have my psychology degree, and you know all my experience. So I can fight her, but someone who don't have as many credentials as I do, it may be hard. And I'm going to read some things right here where they say, it, you know, what you should do. It's, it's a, a how to deal with the narcissist. And it's just for your re the, the regular person who don't have, you know. Uh, here are a few strategies to, to deal with the uh Recalcitrant uh, narcissists in your life. Number one, establish and stick to boundaries with the narcissist person. Always. Because they'll, they'll get up in your business. She was calling my counselor. Uh, she was trying to violate HIPAA laws. Okay, so we often have unconscious ideas that we are held hostage to anyone who wants to talk to you or interact with you. You can and say no to the narcissist who is being overly demanding of you. Okay. For example, if a narcissist uh, is hogging up all your time on the phone, just tell them you need to go and hang up. Okay. Use empathic of validation if you confront a narcissist. That's what I was telling you about. It's a fancy way of saying butter up your your uh butter up your criticism with a compliment first. In fact, criticism is often accepted in a in a sandwich form. Compliment, constructive criticism, compliment. It still won't do no good. But well, anyhow, some of them won't. Um, avoid sharing too much of your personal information or what you're doing because they will. They and what they call flying monkeys. And like, for instance, where I am, they have a service coordinator and system manager and the manager. The the people who came at the the, the uh, flying monkey that came at me was a service coordinator because she was kind of gentler version and she had a version of what a manager's supposed to be you know know how to talk to people and uh know how to address people and know how to give constructive criticism with which the so called manager lacks um but I'm weary of the uh the uh the flying monkeys because even though I have this investigation going on uh and the flying monkey was with the narcissist covert narcissist in some of my inspections and stuff and the narcissist is gonna lie. 
She's going to lie. She wants her job. She, she, the government is coming down on, 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 on this place. And if I would have the court, if I was the, uh, the service coordinator, I would say I don't know because the, the other one, the, the manager, she's she's over a nurse. She gonna lie. She gonna lie to keep her job. But I don't believe as much damage as she done, she gonna have her job long. But anyway, uh, but I don't trust any of them. I don't trust any of them in that office because they'll get together, gang up on you, lie, and uh. If they lie to the government, and I see it, I'm going to point it out, and I'm, I'm going to call the, uh, uh, I don't know who you call, the people who, uh, the people who, who's accountable for, uh, fraud in medic, in, in uh, Section 8 and stuff. Okay. So anyway, don't make the mistake of assuming the narcissist cares. Oh, I'm sorry. I did that in the first place. Um, when I first met her, she did little things, and it just seemed like she was nice. And then, covert narcissist turned on me. No drama. This is where I made my mistake. But, in a way, I could not help it. Uh, let the narcissist games roll off your back. Okay, I have, uh, you know... Bipolar and anxiety disorder, and I have panic attacks when she would point to things. No, 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 that ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. Gotta do that again. Gotta do it again. I would have a panic attack, and that made her feel more empowered, more entitled, and just uh, you know, because I had panic attacks, and it's like STD. You you can't control them. You know, so oh, that made her feel good. Her, made made her made her feel good for the whole week that she got this woman who uh who who's in the mental health and counseling field, uh, and a master's degree in psychology that she she make her uh make uh, have panic attacks. Um. So basically, I guess, and I I have a, uh, another neighbor. She is having problems with her, but her she don't have anxiety as bad. So she's real, you know, soft spoken, this and that. So be like that neighbor, the soft spoken one. Don't second guess yourself with the narcissist. You don't need to justify yourself to the narcissist, but that's the game they're going to play with you. It's all about making you doubt yourself and your perceptions, and that is so true. Because they just come at you with just everything. You don't know what to do. Um, so they are experts at reframing reality in a way that makes them look good and you look bad. So I just cover myself, you know. I um, take notes, you know. Uh, of everything, and like she was in my refrigerator and cabinets and stuff, taking pictures, do it behind her back, you know, just, just, just protect yourself any way you can. And I, I, I hope nobody ever goes through what I've gone through, you know, because I had the grief of my service dog, her being a bitch, a nitpicker. And uh, having to suicidal uh, ideations, going to the to the uh, um, hospital, but um, so she just caught me at a real bad time in my life, and I wasn't able to. I had a breakdown. I was not able to uh, reclaim my life. But now I am. And also, next time, we're going to do a... Uh, I think I'm going to do a... A video on... Um, suicide. Because the result of... Uh, a lot of the intimidation, 
coercion, and um, let's see, intimidation, coercion, nitpicking, nagging, whatever, just gaslighting. Uh, I end up having suicidal um, ideology and attempted suicide. And I'm just going to, we're going to talk about suicide, okay? And how to not to go there or how to recognize the warning signs and um, how to take care of yourself. Thank you. Have a nice day.